Hello everyone, hope you're doing good. Here is a series on the map basics. Uh, the first part of the video would be talking something related to the coordinate systems. Uh, if I can classify the data in terms of spatial and non-spatial domains, the spatial data includes numerical information that allows uh, you to position it on the earth. These numbers are part of a coordinate system that provides a frame of reference for the data to locate features on the surface of the earth or to align the data relative to the other data uh, to perform spatially accurate analysis and to create the maps. Uh, as far as the coordinate systems are concerned, uh, there could be the horizontal coordinate systems and the other one is called as vertical coordinate system. A geographical coordinate system projected or local systems are the categories under the horizontal coordinate systems whereas the vertical coordinate systems either gravity based or based on some ellipsoidal shapes the gravity based vertical coordinate systems are more commonly used uh, they reference a mean sea level uh, calculation basically they are involved in the calculation of the height above the mean sea level uh, we see some just related to the geographic coordinate system first and then uh, the stuffs related to the projected coordinate system uh, the geographical coordinate systems from now onwards we abbreviate it as GCS they are based on a three dimensional ellipsoidal or uh, they are based on uh, the spherical surface uh, here the locations are defined using angular measurements basically x comma y in terms of longitude uh, comma latitude uh, they are the horizontal as well as the vertical angles the location of data is expressed as positive or negative numbers for example positive x and y values for north of the equator and east of the prime meridian uh, the negative values for south of the equator and west of the prime meridian when it comes to the case of projected coordinate systems uh, they are the planar systems uh, they convert a spherical coordinate system to a planar coordinate system and they involve some linear measurements of the coordinates uh, PCS they are composed of a geographic coordinate system and a map projection together uh, they contain some mathematical calculations that convert the angular geodetic coordinates to planar PCS system, the one which you are possibly looking into in terms of a graph or in terms of a chart here, it represents the classical universal transverse Mercator system. The last one is a local coordinate system. Uh, it uh, includes some false origin, it could be 0, 0 or some other values whatever you see uh, on the picture which is highlighted on the right of the slide uh, you know we define we try to define some arbitrary location anywhere on the surface of the earth with the help of local coordinate system local coordinate systems are often used for uh, the large scale uh, in a way to abbreviate some smaller area kind of a mapping uh, the local coordinate systems are usually expressed in terms of meters or uh, uh, to a certain extent it could be possible to explain in terms of feet also. Just to summarize before we wind up, uh, GCS defines where the data is located on the earth surface whereas a PCS tells the data how to draw on a flat surface like on a paper map or a computer screen which is exactly a case of projected projection a GCS is round spherical system and so records locations in angular units usually in terms of degrees a PCS is flat planar system so it records locations in the linear units usually in meters 